Hey there, YouTubers, and welcome to another video. Today, we're doing another pickups video. And in today's video, we'll be having more toys than games this time. So, let's get to another pickups video. Oh, the first item on our list is a PC game. Continuing, starting off with this because I'm continuing off from my last video, which was a PC collection. So I'm opening up with a PC pickup, and that is the Warcraft 3 Collector's Edition box set. This has every single item that belongs in here. Has the game, has two copies of the expansion pack, soundtrack, guidebook, novel, tip book, art book. Poster, little envelope, postcard. It has everything related to Warcraft collector's box. Now, this isn't World of Warcraft. If some of you get are getting confused, there's a difference between the two. Warcraft is before World of Warcraft, so this is pretty cool collector's box set. And if you pick this up, this thing weighs about like. Five pounds so this thing's got some serious weight to it so that's how much stuff they fill into a collector's box next oh something fell back there I don't know what fell oh. let me uh, fix this I think commander Riker fell yeah he fell and let's put him back up Like, looks like Commander Riker doesn't want to stay up. Being fucking lazy today. Let's try and get him up. There we go. Commander Riker's up. Uh oh. He fell too. Oh my goodness. Now the Stormtrooper is lazy. Should I get the Stormtrooper to stay up? Stormtrooper. There we go. Stormtrooper is up. There we go. Everybody's up. Alright. So back to the video. That Now that we're done fixing those stupid ass figures. Let's go back to the video. So as I was saying. The world. We got Warcraft. Now on to the next set of game. We've got. Well, one game, one soundtrack. We've got Pocket Monsters soundtrack. Very hard to find. Like, you take out everything Pokemon related. As far as music and CD wise go. Not games, just CD and music wise. This is one of the hardest to find. And it's Pocket Monsters, which means original Japanese from... I don't see no date on here, but all we can say is this is from the mid-90s. Very hard to find now here. We got a Pocket Monsters game. Less of a game, more like a coloring book. Like, take a coloring book, put it... Okay, here. Forget that. Fuck the coloring book. It's like Mario Paint, but for Pocket Monsters in Japan. That's all it is. Take Mario Paint, put it on a computer, take the characters out, put Pokemon characters, except Pocket Monsters, because this is Japan. This is very hard to find like this, so these are pretty cool. This is a good addition to my Pokemon collection. This is a good addition to my PC and Pokemon collection, so great pickups. Yay! Next, we... Next... I caught that. I caught that before it fell. I'm good. I'm good. It, it didn't fall. Next, we got a classic TV character statue. Less of a toy, more of a statue. Some of you might know him. Some of you might not know him. For all my young YouTubers, you're gonna scratch your head. So I'll give you a little thing. 50s, 60s, and then he was brought back in the mid 70s with the uh, Looney Tunes because he's a Warner Brothers character. For my young audience, 
You can look them up. It's a 50s, 60s TV show, which then went to Looney Tunes. For my older audience, you know who it is, and you know how fucking cool this character is. And you're never too old for him. Chili Willy, the greatest penguin to ever face the earth of television and movie. Now, this is a wooden statue from... Let's see... From 1978. It says it's made by Mary Lou. I don't know who Mary Lou is, but I assume she's a toy maker in the se in the 70s. Or, let's be correct, 78. It's a cool figure. I happened to uh, pick this one up at, at a random store. I just randomly saw that there, and I'm like, why not? See, that's the bottom. I don't know who this Mary Lou is, but probably the creator. If anybody knows, let me know in the comment section below. But Chili Willy, pretty badass penguin. Now, next, we'll move on to figures, which I said there's more of it. First, we've got the 2000's Power Ranger. Now, some of you are thinking, this ain't no Power Ranger. What the fuck? No, this is one that transformed into that big giant robot. In, in the show, you just see them, go, go, Power Ranger, and then they call their color, then they press their wrist, boom, there they go, it just appears. As a toy, each each body part was separate. This is the middle part, There's this is the, like the torso, this is the torso where you see the body and the arms, like right here there's the arms. Now we got the, uh, down here goes the legs. And then up here will be the head. I don't have it. I just picked this up today. It was a decent deal. Because I told the guy, you're missing the body. Well, you got the body. You're missing the legs and the head. So, basically gave it to me for a really good price. And these older, trans uh, sorry, these older uh, Power Rangers, if you look at the bottom, they won't say Power Rangers. If you look closely, it'll give you the year and it'll tell you what, what company. And... To know the difference between Power Rangers and cheap Chinese knockoff, it'll it'll say Bandai. That's how you can tell the difference between the two. It'll say made in China, but you'll see a lot of cheap knockoff Power Rangers like um here. Like that right there. That's a really good knockoff Power Ranger. It looks almost like the original series, but eh. I got the I got I got four of them and I got all four of them for free because they're cheap knockoffs. But that's what a cheap knockoff looks like. This is what a real tra uh, Power Ranger looks like. So you better watch out. But it's a cool pickups because I'm a Power Rangers fan. Next, we'll move on to some cool figures. Well, the Power Ranger is cool, but these are like cool figures, meaning like their looks, the sculpt, because. They take good care of their shit. We got wrestling. We got enough of them. Like, you know I have some wrestling figures from my last uh, room tour I showed. Like, my game room tour. I've added more. And I'm starting to go crazier and harder on my wrestling figures now. Because I want to make a whole section for just wrestling. Because all, all you YouTubers out there, you know I'm a big wrestling fan. Been a big wrestling fan since the... Since the days that of WCW started, have not stopped. And as I got older, I decided I got money. Why not expand part of my room? Like that side, in, um, over there. Make it all wrestling. Uh, aside to you've seen my Django Unchained poster and my Dark Knight poster. Underneath it, like right underneath all the posters. Make a whole section for all my wrestling figures, so... I'm starting on that, so I picked up a few more. We've got Rey Mysterio. The one you've seen in my previous video was the black outfit. This is the red outfit. This is made by Jack Pacific. The one, the one that you've seen was made by Hasbro. And in my opinion, between Hasbro versus Jack Pacific in the mid 2000s, late 2000s. I go with Jack specific figures because they're much cooler. Hence the Rey Mysterio I picked up. But overall, I'm a big LJN collect 
not a collector, but I'm more of an LJN fan of the rubber wrestlers because those look amazing and they're fucking built to last. I I have not yet here. Let me uh I might have shown you this. I might have not. Let me just uh, quickly go get the uh, figure while we pause the video. Like, I don't remember if I've shown you this yet or not, but because it was behind the Eddie Guerrero, so I don't know if you guys could have seen it well in my last video, but I like these types. Like, look at this shit. This is an LJN figure from 1986. Look how old this is. Look how beat it got. But look at that. Look how it lasted. These things fucking beast. These things you could do so much to it. And they last. That's why I like these rubber figures. Compared to these. The Has Hasbro has a weaker face scan. While. LJN. Sorry. Uh, Jack Specific has a better uh, face scan. But. I love my LJN figures, but I don't remember if you've seen this or not, but, yeah. Here, my LJN figure, so, let's just throw them on the bed. Because you can throw those shit around, nothing will happen, because they're meant to last. They're not like this shit, you throw it and it'll get fucked up. In a sec, you throw that, nothing will happen. But yeah, let's continue on to my pickups, enough of me babbling on. We got this, uh, Ray. Uh, next one, we've got Ray Mis uh, sorry, Ric Flair in the suit. This is a Ric Flair general manager, Ric Flair. This is from, trying to get the date here, 2000, WWF Jax Pacific. And, I don't know, maybe I can say it, I can't, but who the fuck cares? The figure says WWF, I'm gonna say it, I don't care. It's right here, Jack Specific, general manager version of Ric Flair. And this, I got from a good friend of mine, uh, Josh Evoy. It, pretty, pretty good. He gave me this as a gift because he had two of them, so he just gave me one. I appreciate the free gift. And I love my Jack Specific better than my Hasbro. But again, I like my LJN better than my Jack Specific, so... I'm hinting out here, a hint hint, if any of you YouTubers out there has got any LJN wrestlers, I'm interested, not on card, because I ain't gonna pay that fucking retarded price, because I know what the prices are for those LJN figures, they ain't worth that shit, if you got any loose LJN figures, I'm interested, message me, I'm cheap, I'm a cheap fuck, I ain't gonna pay for the high prices on the boxed LJN figures. I want them loose. Message me if you got any loose LJN rubber figures that you're willing to give up. Uh, continue on. We've got Sting. And the world title fell. Let me pick it up. Ugh. Let's see. Put it on. Here. Sting with the world title. Now, a lot of you might be looking at this and being like, okay, WWE world title. Oh, cool. Knight of Champions. Yeah, you're predict- No, 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 no. No. Backtrack. Sting was a WCW champion, both when he was colorful, rainbow, blonde-haired Sting, and Crow Sting. So, this belt is from WCW. This belt is from 1995, when WCW went to Monday Nitro. Now, me being a big WCW fan, I like my WCW wrestlers better. I like my WCW era better, but figure-wise, the rubber ones last longer. They're built to last. They don't fuck up when you throw them, so there's a difference. Wrestling-wise, I like my WCW figures. I like my rubber stuff, and we got this belt. If anyone's got a uh, WWE belt, like a modern belt, I'm interested in that message, me, because I've got a, a CM Punk that needs to put a belt around his waist. And you've seen that already in the last video. And here's something cool about the WCW figures. Here, take a WWE figure. 
Plain, simple, nothing. Can't do shit but stand there. Make a WCW figure. It's not plain. Where is where's the button at? Ah, here we go. Look at that. Look at that. See that? WCW put more effort into their figures. They actually do stuff. You see turns. A lot of their figures are very gimmicky. And this is made by Marvel. 1999 Marvel. That was back before Marvel joined forces with Mattel. They made their own stuff. So Marvel made stuff for WCW. Another gimmicky thing that WCW did that WWF didn't do at the is talking figures, which I, I've shown you my talking Scott Steiner. Put batteries in it, two double D batteries, and then you just bring another talking wrestler and they talk to each other. WWF didn't do that. That's what made the 90s figures for WCW better. Let me know in the comment section what you like better. The old LJN rubber figures, the WCW gimmicky talking, moving arms, moving bodies, or the plain simple old WWE figures or the old WWF mini rubber figures that you can move their arms around, stretch them, like sort of like a stretch Armstrong but in a rubber form. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of wrestling figures you like. Uh, and last but not least what I picked up today, I made a trade with a buddy of mine. I He loves Star Wars. I love wrestling. I like Star Wars. I told you in one of my videos, I don't mind it. I'm not a huge fan. So certain figures I won't like as much as like my wrestling or my turtles or my my little pony or Street Fighter or Transformers or Simpsons. Star Wars, it's like those few random ones that you see here. These guys, Darth Vader, Darth Maul, Luke and Han. And the vehicles. But I had some couple of figures I didn't care for like rebel troopers and damage carded figure but he was nice enough to give me a fit Finley the same Finley some of you younger fans or teenage fans might think why are you saying fit why because look at his arms no his name back in WCW was fit Finley he came into WWE around 2002 after the Invasion story. Kept his name as Fit Finley. He got injured at the end of 2003. He got a knee injury, which he was sidelined till 2005. Returned on SmackDown as just Finley. So this is not a Finley figure. This is a 2000... Let me check the date on this. Man, I gotta do my homework on the dates before doing a video next time. Man, make it shorter. Uh, fuck me. I should do it. Ugh. 2003 Jack Specific. So, 2003 it would be Fit Finley. For, for some of you younger fans or teenage fans, this is Fit Finley, not Finley. Same, same guy, same guy, just different name for different times. And if any of you are wondering, the face scan? Yes, he does look like he's constipated. Here, if you want to bend him down, there, he's taking a shit, because look at his face. Yeah, I know, some of you are already going to mention that with his face. Yes, he is constipated, but hey, it's a cool figure. I hope that he returns in the ring, but at the moment he's working backstage. But yeah, got this one for a good trade. Traded a Rebel Trooper and uh, and uh... Oh, I forgot his name. Don Cuckoo Coco. The Star Wars guy with the hood, the gray beard. I forgot his name. I don't like the character. Why I forgot his name. I gave him those guys for this. It's a good trade. So, there you have it. One game. A bunch of toys. Mainly wrestling. I rambled on. Some of you got bored. Some of you did it. If you got to this point where, where you think, hey... Let's continue it. Thank, I thank you. If you guys are gonna say, I, I, I'm fucking up by, and you stopped. Hey, if you think I, if you think I'm doing this video and you think I'm, I'm high right now, I'm just being normal today. I 
just happened to drop a couple of things and ha shit happened. If you got to this far to a one one video that looks like I fucked up, hey, congratulations, you made it far enough to a weird pickups video. I say it's a weird pickups video. I want to be weird. I can be weird. I decided to make one weird pickups video for all my fans out there. Eh? Wouldn't it hurt? One weird pickups video? Why not? Comment in the comment section below what kind of wrestling figures you like to collect. What era of wrestling figures you like. What what type of com what companies you like that make wrestling figures. Which companies do you like as far as wrestling figures go? Message me. Comment in the comment section below for I don't know Power Rangers as well. Which kind of Power Rangers you guys like? The new stuff, the old stuff, the movie stuff, the the mid two thousand stuff. Eh, let me know. I want to know your opinions. And comment in the comment section below. Do you want to see more weird and fucked up pickups video, or do you want me to go back to normal and be serious? Let me know in the comment section below. And now, as always, enjoy life and keep on collecting.